There's a simple idea that interests me, which is that, in any moment, you could do almost anything. Right now, for example, you could head to the train station, buy a ticket for a place you've never been, then, when you arrive, you could ask a stranger about their hopes and dreams. Or, if you don't want to leave the house, you could just put socks on your hands, gloves on your feet, and then contemplate what life would be like if you had hands for feet and feet for hands. I've never done any of these things. Instead, like many, I spend most of my time staring at a screen. Occasionally, however, my bike calls to me. Strap on my bags, it says, fill them up, and let's see what's out there. It sometimes insists that we go away for a while, but other times settles for a single night, which is what we agreed upon most recently. I had heard about the remains of an old castle in a forest on top of a hill, just 15 kilometers from where I live in Spain, ideal for a quick adventure. So after packing a tent and some supplies, I left town via palm-lined avenues, still warm in the early evening sun of June and rolled through grey industrial estates that border the green hills that embrace the town. Beyond the estates, a dusty track led up into the hills, weeding through a landscape of Mediterranean scrub and pine forest, past old farmhouses, stone ruins and purple flowers. Looking back an hour in, a haze had crept over the town while my back was turned. Now high up in the hills, there were views of that timeless blue sea, which seemed to lap at the dry earth of an immense quarry. Shadows seeped into the forest as I began a descent, but bright green vineyards still glimmered in the light, and the stones of abandoned buildings glowed like embers. At the bottom, another steep climb awaited me, and my wheels spun in the dirt as I stood to power myself to the top. The crunching of the track and my heavy breaths merged with the crackling of the overhead power lines. The track reached its peak on a ridge lined with the silhouettes of ancient trees. Almost three hours in, I made it to a short stretch of tarmac that led towards the setting sun and that would take me to within a couple of kilometers of the castle. A small path turned off of the road and ran beside a farm overlooked by cliffs. Further along, a sign warned of electric fences which were there to contain the wild horses that inhabited the upcoming stretch of forest. I saw their waste on the ground and heard their neighs in the distance, then, raising my weary head one time, to appeared on a platform of rock, the darkness accentuated by the blushing sky. Continuing, I realized there was no path leading to the castle on the map, and the castle was nowhere in sight. This is about nine o'clock now, and the sun is gonna be setting pretty soon. I've been riding for about three hours. This micro adventure has turned into uh, something slightly more than a micro adventure, maybe a, a small adventure. Um, but yes, 
the sun is going to set quite soon and um, I'm in some like park area where there are wild horses and the castle should be around here somewhere but I'm not exactly sure which way to go I think this path I'm on should approximately lead in the right direction so I'm going to follow it and hope for the best I used my drone to get my bearings flying straight up then looking in all directions I located the modest remains of the castle and spotted a path that might lead there but the sun would soon set completely so I found a patch of flat ground with views of the castle, set up my tent, and resolved to keep going the next day. of the morning coaxed pleasing scents from wildflowers and from the pine trees as I set off again, leaving my bike and tent behind. As the path ascended, I occasionally caught glimpses of horses grazing among the trees. Although still keeping a close eye on me, they seemed less suspicious of my presence now that daylight had returned. Before long, I arrived at a plateau and saw the remains of a 17th century church. From there, a steep path, adorned with spider's webs, marked the final stretch to the castle. I'd barely seen anyone since leaving town yesterday, and of course, there was nobody at the castle either. Inside its tower, a spiral staircase led to the roof where, hundreds of years ago, soldiers would have surveyed the lands. I stayed there a while basking in the morning sun and admiring the hazy hills between there and home. As nice as it was, I suspected I'd never be there again. I knew, however, that there were other curiosities hidden in those landscapes, and that, whenever life felt too routine, I would set out on my bike once more to see what I might find. <laughs> 